in the uh, BLS community and now widely used by the uh, paramedics is something called a nasal atomizer. What it does is it turns the Narcan into a mist and it is absorbed through the nasal passage. So uh, the Narcan comes in a pre-filled Brista jet. A pre-what? It's a pre-filled Brista jet. It's called a, uh, it's a syringe that's got a pre-filled amount of Narcan in it. Um, it carries <coughs> two milligrams of, of Narcan. What, what you want to do is administer one milligram each nostril for a full dose of uh, two milligrams. So this is what it looks like when it's fully put together. The uh, foam sponge gets inserted into the nostril, pointed towards the ear so that it's absorbed a little bit better. Half of this medication is then put into that nostril. Quickly you go to the second nostril and you administer the other milligram. So it's a full two milligrams because how it is absorbed. Um, if we give it IV or as an injection, we have the choice to give a little bit less just to get them breathing. Uh, sometimes when you totally remove uh, the, the effects of the uh, opiate, uh, they can come up and you know, vomit, uh, can cause seizures at times. So the goal is just to get them breathing again, get them to the hospital where the doctors and nurses can uh, work on them a little bit more. But with nasal atomizers, the full two milligrams are administered because of how it's absorbed. Now, it's important to know that if they um, don't have a heartbeat, this is not going to work. The nasal atomizer only works while circulation is happening. It has to circulate through the blood system. So in, in the cases where they don't have a pulse and we're trying to do resuscitation, our only choice is to uh, give it IV um, in those cases.